the encoding specificity principle um, refers to an important limitation or condition on how we retrieve uh, information. And basically what it says is that the likelihood that we can retrieve information about some past experience depends very much on how that experience was encoded in the first place and how the encoding of that experience relates to the retrieval queue that's available to initiate uh, the retrieval process. It's not just any old queue that will bring back a memory of a particular event. It's a queue that is related to how you thought about that event at the time it occurred and probably to how you've thought about it and rehearsed it in the intervening time. So an, a good example uh, from the laboratory uh, would be from experiments in which people were shown sentences uh, to remember. And uh, in these sentences, they were given they were simple sentences such as, uh, the fish attacked the swimmer. And later on, I can cue your memory uh, for those sentences by giving you different kinds of hints. And what was found in this experiment is that the most effective hint for getting you to remember the fish attacked the, sh the swimmer was the word shark. Why would it be shark? Shark was even more effective than the word fish, which was not even, uh, even though shark had not been presented in the, initial, in the initial sentence and fish had, well, the idea is that most people, when given a sentence such as the fish attack the swimmer, uh, think of a shark. They make an inference. Uh, maybe they construct a little mental scene in which there's a shark attacking the swimmer. Then later on, uh, the retrieval cue that is most closely related to or matches one's encoding of that event uh, is shark.